I just need somebody to tell me that this story ain't true. The IUIC, the IUIC leader for the, the, uh, the Israel United in Christ, the black guy, what's his name? Nathaniel or something like that. I need for y'all to tell me that this man was not a police detective for 16 years. I need y'all to tell me that his job was not to infiltrate the communities and the black communities and bring black people down. I need y'all to tell me that this black man that's preaching all this hatred and stuff against the white man and all this shit didn't just work for him for 16 years on the low, destroying black lives under the police thing moniker. I don't I don't believe that. I know this man ain't started this entire organization infiltrating its own people secretly working for the government. Tell me this ain't happening. Tell me that all of these Israelites that's walking around in this purple and gold is not being misled because their leader is a guy who used to work for the New York police or one of these detect these departments for 16 years as a detective whose job was to infiltrate the black communities. Say it ain't so. I mean, because that just wouldn't sit right. But I know this story is false. So what I need y'all to do is, I need y'all to do y'all own digging. Because maybe, you know, I'm pretty sure this is inaccurate information. But just in case, I want y'all to... I know this man ain't been playing this whole time like he been this Bible reading. This this teacher who was in the line of duty working for the and possibly working now. You went from upholding the law, shooting black folks, arresting black folks, being a part of a system that was built and predicated upon murdering and incarcerating black people and now you just you leading the charge against the white man in the Bible represent Jesus knock at the golf Shalom call the line Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kadash all praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles a great millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. Woe to the pastors that scatter my sheep. So we're going to go into that word scatter. Yes, it means disperse or dispersal. There's also another meaning behind it. And we'll go into it. A quick disclaimer. We're not black. So this man seems to be listening to the videos, but he's not in the truth. And it's not uncommon for when one finger is pointing out at leaders that may be going off, there could be three fingers pointing back at you. So if you know the truth or if you're listening to the videos, then the right thing to be doing right now is to be pushing this truth. So yes, IUIC is going off, but at the same time, whoever this man is, is going off as well. All right, on here with showing nakedness and not preaching the gospel, but you're following the videos. And the other thing is we're not black. So he kept talking about against black people. Okay, that's not a nationality. We're different. 
were different shades of brown. But nevertheless, he does make some valid points against IUIC. So, cannot make or sup with devils and at the same time try to partake in the Lord's sacrifice. So, this man is suspect, still teaching to call on Jebus or Jesus Christ. That's not the Lord's name. So the doctrine is off. Not focus on Bible prophecy, the last day's events, the MOTB, teaching the congregation that his name don't matter. And that's a big no-no. Because names do matter. Names carry spiritual vibrations. And that can be dark energy. Or it can be power, light. A source of strength. So the names are very important. And this photo was sent to me by Brother Arya Shaya. So... Let's go into the Bible. We're going to go here first. In a moment. Yeah, let's go to Jeremiah 30, 23. <clears throat> so we are close. All the pieces are coming together for last day's prophecies. Go to Jeremiah 23, verse 1. And if you'll notice the title, The Coming Messiah, The Righteous Branch. Jeremiah 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. Let's look at that word, scatter. Scatter comes from the Hebrew. Strong's age, 6327. Poots. Poots. See, to break, to break or dash in pieces, disperse. So it also means to destroy. We just read it. So these false leaders are helping to destroy the Lord's people, plucking off the skin of the Lord's inheritance. And there's going to be a visitation for these crimes. Let's go back. We'll read it again. Jeremiah 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock, even driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. So that visitation is going to come with harsh judgment. So the Lord is not playing. These men are boldly Sticking to false doctrine. This particular leader lost somewhere between 20 and 22 members by telling them it's okay to consume the serpent's juice. And I can't go into detail, but they'll take down the video. But he told them that it was okay for the hokey poke, the Fauci ouchie and lost 20 to 22 members. Can't remember the exact numbers. And that number could have gone up by now. Because this is over a year old. So with that being in mind, <coughs> excuse me, let's go from there. We're going to go to Isaiah 9. Book of Isaiah chapter 9. Let's go to verse 12. The Syrians before and the Philistines behind 
and they shall devour Israel with open mouth. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So the Syrians and the Philistines were used as a weapon against the Israelites before. America represents a conglomeration of all nations, peoples, multitudes, and tongues, a.k.a. a melting pot. So all these empires are rolled together in the final world rulership. The daughter of Babylon, the European Union, and NATO, the beast. So we're in the belly of this final empire, the fourth beast, the revised Roman Empire. Just to qualif qualify that, let's read it again. Isaiah 9, verse 12, the Syrians before and the Philistines behind and they shall devour Israel with open mouth. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So the Edomites are going to be used today as the hand of judgment of the Lord, the left hand or sinister side. Isaiah 9, verse 13, For the people turneth not, unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. Therefore, the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. The leadership and the organizations as a whole. So when you look at the head and tail, that starts with the European Union, NATO, and America, the daughter of Babylon, the head, and it has a body of United Nations, and then it has a tail of rebels following them, like the two-thirds of the House of Israel, the two-third Israelites, are joined unto this great beast. They are joined with the synagogue of Satan, Satan means adversary of God, or shaitan, human adversary. So these Israelites are joined unto the Federation of Nations under the beast. Isaiah 9, verse 13, For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. Therefore, the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. The ancient and honorable, he is the head and the prophet that teacheth lies. He is the tail. So the judgment starts with the house of Israel that are in bed with the beasts in modern times. So judgment must start, must start at the Lord's sanctuary. Let's get one more to prove that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter nine. The book of Ezekiel chapter nine. See, let's go to verse four. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. This particular mark is talking about a thawa, an exemption from judgment. Verse 5, And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So Jerusalem, he's talking about his people. 
We are a people first. He's not talking about man-made boundaries or borders. Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house, begin at my sanctuary. So judgment starts with the house of Israel. Let's look at this word mark. Haven't done this in a while. Mark comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H eighty four twenty. Tav. Tav. The wah. Exemption from judgment. A mark, a sign. So the elect are anointed with this understanding. So the Bible says, begin at my sanctuary. Let's go back. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 9, verse 15. The ancient and honorable, he is the head and the prophet that teacheth lies. He is the tail. That's the sanctuary of the Lord that are in the midst of the beasts, join unto him, are in agreement with him, and many of them are going to consent to the M, to the O, to the T, to the B, to the Mike, to the Alpha, to the Romeo, to the Kilo, the Mark. Let's go to Isaiah 9, verse 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to error, and they that are led of them are destroyed. We read that in Jeremiah 23. To scatter also means to break, shake, or break in pieces. See? For the leaders of this people cause them to err. And they that are led by them are destroyed. So the Lord is going to break in pieces the destroyer and those that are following the destroyers. Let's read it again. Isaiah 9, verse 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. And they that are led of them are destroyed. So the Israelites are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And the Israelites reject knowledge, reject wise counsel, reject rebuke, correction. Let's go to Acts chapter 20. Let's go to verse 26. Wherefore, I take you to the... Wherefore... I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. We get the blood off our hands by teaching the full unadulterated doctrine, not watered down, not diluted or mixed in with other philosophies, cut and sliced and trying to expand profits trying to increase revenue, teaching lies, or teaching what we think people want to hear, trying to cater to women, you name it. Acts 20, verse 27. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High, and that includes his name. The Savior's name is Yehoshai, Hamashiach, okay, Yahawashai, he will deliver, deliverer or savior. And he is the anointed one, 
Hamashiach. His name is not Jesus Christ. That's coming from the Greek. So that puts dark energy on us when we call the wrong names. X, and by the way, all the council is embedded with Bible prophecy, especially in these last days. And that's not being taught by these false leaders. <coughs> Acts 20, verse 28. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit have made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High, which he have purchased with his own blood. Who is the church of the Most High? The congregation of Israel, which starts with the Lord's temple, the tabernacle of David, and the elect lively stones, anointed ones. Acts 20, verse 29, For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Say what? For I know after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. And this is one of the reasons why only men should be teaching. Only those ordained to teach. Many of our men are too emotional. They come on the comment board saying, leave him alone. That's your brother. He's black. If he's not teaching the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, then he is outside of the Lord's temple. Point blank, period. This is not about being emotional. So you men that have a monthly wet spot, be quiet. This is not for you. Read that again. Acts 20, verse 29. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. And now he's built an entire organization. One million man march. Absolute waste of time. If it's not built on the foundation and principles of truth and wisdom, the chief cornerstone, it's built on a weak foundation, period. So these grievous wolves, the grievous wolves are false leaders. Let's go to Galatians 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Galatians chapter 2. Let's go to verse 4. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we have in Hamashiach Yahawashai, that they might bring us into bondage. The habitations of sin is bondage. So these leaders are keeping us in bondage, going off committing iniquity, therefore staying slaves because the servant of sin is a slave unto sin, subject under bondage. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in who came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we have in Hamashiach, Yahawashai, that they might bring us into bondage, tempt us to commit iniquity, transgression. 
get ready to close out with one more. We're going to go to, I think we covered it, beat a dead horse. Let's go here, Isaiah 9. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 17. Therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. For every one is a hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So these leaders and their congregation are going to become fuel for the fire. Remember Numbers chapter 16. The Lord caused the earth to open up and devour the false leaders, their congregation, and their family members, men, women, and children. So in modern times, he's going to create a lake of fire on the earth, pre precipitated or initiated by nuclear missiles, followed by high energy concentrated laser beam fire by the chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs. Eighteen, See, Isaiah 9, verse 18. For wickedness burneth as the fire, it shall devour the briars and thorns, and shall kindle in the thickets of the forest, and they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother. So that adversity, the fiery trial of adversity, ignites this thing when these mandates come down the pipe. Brother against brother, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And it's going to reach a boiling point. Things are going to erupt, so to speak into an explosion, a nuclear holocaust, followed by the return of the Messiah, the Hamashiach, with the laser and chariot fire to finish off this kingdom, this fourth beast with fire. And he's going to deliver his elect. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadash, Barakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yesharela, and the Bhagavad We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.